All right, hey guys, my name is Steven Klaus. I'm going to be going over the PHP um, uh, files array. And so this is a super global, and it actually creates uh, an associative array. And I know that I'm just pulling terms, but it, this takes uh, is a two-dimensional associative global array, which takes items that are being uploaded um, via the post method. And the post method meaning when you create a form, like right here, you're actually looking at um, so the method is post, the action is where is this going to be taking place, so this is in your controller files for your index.php like we're using right now. You would say whatever the name of the case is, so this could be um, uh, upload file, whatever it is, or this could be upload file if it's not a, if it's not a case, this could be its own file on, by itself. Either way, what we're looking at is, I'm going to leave that blank for now. <clears throat> um, this is just a simple print to see kind of what it spits out if we're trying to sp spit out the array. Um, you do have to always have this when you're uploading um, this ENC type multi-part multi slash form data when you're using this super global. If you do not, then it will not work. Um, again, post for the method. And then uh, this is just a simple form with two inputs. And let's see what that looks like when we execute it. Um, so it just spits out nothing right now because I haven't uploaded a file. But keep in mind, uh, when we're looking at this, this file name, this is what associates with our attributes. So the super global will take all of these attributes. And it, as you can see, um, this super global right here input field name, input field name, it's all going to be this file right here. Um, and so it's file and then the name of the image. So if I'm uploading an image that's puppies or something, then it's going to say file and then puppies. Right here will be puppies. Um, a temporary name, I know that it's kind of like, wait, what's this temporary name? That's actually the location. And this is where it's kind of important. I wasn't sure how this worked, but when you upload... Um, you hit submit on this and you actually upload uh, a file, it's going to store your file to a temporary location. If you don't tell it where you want to like put that file, once this script is run, once your script is run, it will delete your image. And so it'll essentially be uploading it ready for use. And then if you don't use it though, it will delete it. That's what this temp, um, temp name is. And so that the user that uploads the, the file, they don't have any control over that. Um, as, as someone said when I was looking into uh, um, on the PHP manual, so it's someone gave and they gave some really good information. So here's the whole array and they said here's the name and then they gave some good information as this is treated as tainted because it comes from the browser. Don't use this because it comes from the individual. But the temp name, which is the location, it's anywhere on your system. The user has no control, so this isn't tainted. So this is something that you could actually use to make sure you're being more secure. Anyway, sorry this is a, a little bit longer than I was planning on. I was hoping to keep it under three minutes. But either way, this is just a simple way that you can attach this to your forms if you want to create a simple way to upload images and then give it... Um, parameters when you upload or things to check for as you upload the image. Thanks.